Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Check out what we have to review today. It's the brand new Wet n Wild Summer Collection. It's called Flights of Fancy, and oh, just a sec. I forgot, I just applied this, so it was missing. So I'm gonna be reviewing the entire collection with you guys today. This is actually not the entire collection. I don't know why they didn't put the entire collection in this box, but I, I bought the entire collection. We will go through the additional products um, shortly. By the way, if you notice that my makeup uh, looks a little off today, some of the makeup was a little off. It was literally 50-50. Uh, some of the products I love and others... I'm curious, by the way, if you guys can guess and figure out what it is about my makeup that I'm not too pleasantly pleased with. <laughs> That'd be pretty impressive if you can get it. And don't even think about cheating, you cheater. I see you. So yeah, if you guys want to know my thoughts on this collection, then go ahead and keep watching. So I'm actually going to start off with face products today because I am breaking out really bad. I don't know why. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, let's, let's just move on. I mean, technically these are lip products, but I just don't want to deal with this when I have my foundation on and I just, mm, no. So these are the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrubs and these just look adorable. They have 10 grams of product in here and this one is obviously orange scented slash flavored and then this one is watermelon. So first I'm going to try out Citrus Elixir. I really dislike the smell of this. This is overwhelmingly orange, but like the chemically strong fake smelling orange, almost like medicine, like cough medicine type of orange if it was orange flavored. I don't know if that's a thing. I actually have no idea if these are edible. No, I don't think they are. It doesn't taste right to eat. Like it kind of tastes like I just took a bite out of a lip balm. Mm -mm. Don't recommend eating. Also, I know some people get really grossed out by that because they're like, you're eating the dead skin off your lips. <laughs> Disregarding the smell, I actually really like the consistency of the scrub. It's very tough, but then like as you scrub it out, it feels like a super hydrating, like a moisturizing chapstick. And this one is watermelon scented, which I'm definitely most excited for. So hopefully this smells a lot better. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh. I really want to eat this. You know what this smells like? This smells identical to the Sour Patch Kids watermelon candies. Like literally identical. And I'm on a diet right now and this makes me really sad. Do I look cute yet? Well, I have to say, if you're going to choose one, go for the watermelon. Like, no question. And it's actually a really good lip scrub. They're fully exfoliated. They're soft. They're smooth. There's no uh, dead skin patches. We're, we're good. And by the way, those lip scrubs retail for $4 each. So on to the next product. This is the Photo Focus Primer Water Spray, which I think is so cool that we have a drugstore primer water. And I love the packaging. I think the overall theme of the collection is so cute. So this retails for $5 and I was interested to see if you could use this to set your makeup as well because I know with the Smashbox primer water, you can use it to refresh your makeup, set your makeup, use it as a primer, all that stuff. So I looked online at the description and it says, give your skin some love with just a few spritzes of perfection. Perfection, all right. That will keep you refreshed and glowing all summer long. Glowing, that's what I like to hear, so we'll see about that. It's a lightweight primer spray, and it can be used to prep, set, and refresh makeup throughout the day, so that's super cool. This might be a dupe for the Smashbox Primer Water. That would be amazing. Hopefully the spritzer is decent. I mean, yeah. Look at that, that's so good. So I'm just gonna, you know, spray this on my face. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, no, I don't, don't like it. There's, it's pretty fine, the mist, but there's like one little like skyrocket little section in the spritzer that's a little violent. So I don't know if there's something wrong with mine specifically or if this is what all of the spritzers are going to be like, but it's almost like generally it's a fine mist, but then there's like two sections in the spray where it just like catapults forward and it's very intense. So 
Mm. Honestly, it almost feels like I just put water on my face with like a little bit of something extra. It is a tiny bit tacky, not anything too intense. The glow that you're seeing on my face is pretty much just because my face is wet right now, not because the product like actually made me glow. I feel like my skin doesn't really look that different. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and the other steps of my makeup routine that I don't have products here to share with you guys from the collection and I'll be right back. All right, so moving on to the eyes, I have three quads to show you guys. This one is called Flock Party. So pretty neutral and wearable for every day except you have like one pop of color like this magenta shade and with all these palettes you get three shimmer shades and one matte. Then this one is called Stop Ruffling My Feathers. Personally quads just they aren't really my thing. I like to have like six or more shades in a palette. I don't know why like quads and single shadows they just kind of give me anxiety. <laughs> it's really bizarre but like I don't own any single shadows because I don't know it just looks too cluttered for me. I like to just open up a palette have my colors there but I really love this quad. I think this color scheme is beautiful like it's rosy but smoky and brown. I don't know something about this color scheme just looks really classy to me. And then this one is called Asta La Costa Baby <laughs> and this looks so fun. I'm definitely gonna be using this blue today. So I'm gonna try and create a look using hopefully all three of these palettes So starting with this quad, I'm gonna dip into this transition shade and I've been really impressed with wet and wilds eyeshadow formula These are three dollars For four shadows like that's such a steal. So so far. This is practically blending itself out. I'm really impressed. It's not overly ridiculously pigmented, but that's to be expected since this isn't like too different from my skin tone. And then I'm going to pick up this dark cool toned matte shade and I'm going to stick this in the crease as well as the outer corner because since I'm going to be adding color, I like to have a neutral base before I go in with crazy colors just to make it a little bit more gradient and blended. I feel like this shade has the slightest bit of a purple undertone to it. It's really pretty. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far. I'm not a fan of this shade in particular. I've literally gone in like 10 to 15 times. I'm not exaggerating, trying to build this color up and I feel like it doesn't have the smoothest blend. It's a little bit patchy. It's just not that pigmented. I love the color. But the formula is not there with this one. So now I'm going to go back in with that first transition shade that we used. And I'm just going to go over that to further the blending process. I'm dipping into the blue shade and I'm going to try this dry at first. It's not full intense pigment on the first application. This is like the fourth but it's definitely buildable and this is a beautiful color. I'm actually just gonna use this primer water, spray my brush and then dip into it again because I want this to be super pigmented. And this shade does have a lot of fallout as you can see, so hopefully I can remove that no problem in a little bit. And then next I'm gonna dip into this purple color and this is on a wet brush. And I'm gonna pop this in the outer corner. I'm not going to put this all the way in the outer V because I like to keep that matte, but I want to have a little bit of a gradient effect with the purple and the blue. I will say the fallout is ridiculous with these colored shades. I'm really hoping it doesn't completely ruin my makeup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dip into the blue one more time. And I pretty much want most of this look to be mainly blue. And then when I get to this corner where the blue meets the purple, I just kind of messily wiggle my brush with whatever excess product I have left. So I attempted something. I wanted to do something a little different from what I normally do. This took me a long time to do and I used their Mega Liner, the metallic liquid eyeliner and this one is in the shade Gilded Wings. So obviously you can see what that looks like on the eyes and then this one is in the shade You Are My Wingman and then these next two colors are not metallic. But this is a really pretty peachy color and these retail for three dollars each this one is called winged and wild and this is a green which is so beautiful and these have brush tip applicators which i'm obsessed with it's the only thing i can work with um but these are not my favorite i had to go over this like five times because they're not super pigmented like there isn't a lot that collects on the brush i have to go over it and over and over it to get these like solid color lines 
So just now I tried to cover up the fallout with some powder foundation. It's not perfect. I did the best that I could. I'm sorry. I know my makeup doesn't look perfect around here and the primer's not doing me any favors. I've noticed like for some reason I can see all of this makeup breaking up around my chin and it almost looks like you can see all these tiny tiny little pores and I don't normally get this with this foundation. This is the Milani 2-in-1. So to tie the lower lash line in with this streak of gold, I know by the way it's not like perfectly perfectly even. Like I said, I had to go over it like five times. I'm going to take this gold over here and this is on a wet brush just because... I like the pigmentation and wet and wild shimmer shades aren't bad in pigmentation I just like it to be like super foiled So I'm just gonna run this all along the lower lash line and then for my inner corner I'm gonna pick up this shade I thought it would be a cool kind of different color to highlight the inner corner and this is with a wet brush I love this color. This is a sick color. It has a such a beautiful like lavender silver duochrome flip to it and now I'm going to be testing out their new baked blush formula um, I'm a little nervous not gonna lie about these because these literally look like they're mega glow highlighters they look very reflective in the pan I like blushes with a little bit of a sheen or matte blushes satin blushes but if it's too glowy it can emphasize texture pores just like not what you want but I do love wet n wilds highlighters and their blushes like so much so I'm hoping. So this one is in the shade Hummingbird Hype and this is definitely my favorite color in the collection because it is a peachy blush. This one is in the shade Don't Flutter Yourself. This is a bit too pink for my taste. I don't know how I'm going to like it. We'll see. And then this one is in the shade Dare to Soar. I can already tell you I'm never going to use this as a blush. This is just not my thing. It's too dark. It's too bright. But someone with a deeper complexion, I can see this looking incredible on if the formula is good. So today Today I'm going to be using the shade Hummingbird Hype. I'm going to dip into that twice and we'll see what this looks like. Mm. Well, I'm not seeing color payoff really, like at all. Like I'm digging into this product and I'm not seeing color. Oh no, I don't like this. It's emphasizing everything on my cheeks, like every single pore. And this honestly looks like a subtle highlighter to me, not something I'd want to use as a blush on my cheeks. Yeah, hard pass. I really don't like this. And I'm not someone with a bunch of skin issues. Like I know I'm breaking out right now, but normally I don't break out pretty much ever. And this just makes my skin look way worse than it really is. I mm -mm. These retail for $5, by the way, but just save your five bucks. And that makes me really sad because that was actually the product I was most excited for. Whatever. Moving on to the last products I have to share with you guys. These are their new lip glosses. I absolutely love the component that these come in. They're just adorable. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the lightest shade. So this one is called Fly Gal. Ooh. I actually really like sheer glosses. I don't like full, full, opaque glosses because I feel like gloss is meant to be such an easy thing to throw on. So when they're ultra pigmented, it can be a little bit annoying because then you have to take the time to apply them and then it's like then I could just apply like a liquid lipstick. I have literally never felt a gloss formula like this before. This is incredible. It literally feels like gel on your lips. Like like water almost like not water. Like literally the smoothest lip gloss I've ever applied and this is insanely comfortable and not sticky whatsoever. So this next one is in the shade Fearless and I feel like this is probably gonna be my favorite out of the whole collection just because it's a pinky nude and that's what I always grab when I need a gloss. Oh my gosh, I love this color. I've literally never seen a gloss in this shade. This is so unique and cool. So this one is in the shade Pout of Paradise and A++. This is so incredibly stunning and I can see every single skin tone pulling this off. This is so cool. It's so unique and I feel like it's so wearable. This next one is in the shade Lovebird Affair and this is just your beautiful classic 
red lip color and I just love the idea of a glossy red lip. It looks so classy and elegant. Uh, I can already tell you this one is not my favorite shade. I just feel like with dark colors, uh, it's not super flattering if they're sheer because then it just looks a bit patchy. It, um, it just looks a bit messy to me. The shade is called Shut the Pluck Up. Alright you guys, so this is the completed makeup look. Overall, I'm not too pleased. Uh, the actual makeup look I really like, but my skin looks awful. The primer water didn't do anything for me. My makeup is completely falling apart in this section. It's looking cakey. You can see like pores on my chin. Like I didn't know I had those. The blush, like I said, is emphasizing too much texture, my pores, and it doesn't even have a color to it really. Normally you add blush to add a flush of color to your cheeks to make you look more alive and healthy, youthful, all that stuff. Um, but this just looks like a natural, not so pigmented highlighter. I loved the applicator on the liners, but again, like I don't want to apply a liner five times over top, like who has time for that? I did, however, love the the glosses that's by far my favorite product in this collection I've never felt a formula like them before so highly recommend those wet and wilds eyeshadow formula really love it um, I just didn't like that one matte brown shade and then the watermelon lip scrub I really liked that so that is all for me today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you might want to see me in any more videos I would appreciate it so so much I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video bye